Traders Live podcast. Uh, g'day, Motto. How are you this morning? Good morning, Chugs. I'm well. How you going? How was your weekend, mate? Did you get uh, get the Christmas tree up? No, mate, not. We're uh, busy uh, moving moving at the moment, so All right. maybe next year. A white Chrissy in uh, New York. I'll let that's you. What my, that's what my wife's um, pushing for anyway, so we'll see. Yeah, okay. Well, keep trading. <laughs> <laughs> mate, we finally had some action Friday night. Uh, I was already at the pub. I don't know about you, so that was <laughs> beneficial. Um, but, mate, uh, we had Friday's day session for the Oz 200 was, was five points, but then... Yeah, heading into those overnight sessions in the US, we had a the S and P moved thirty two points, the FTSE moved seventy five points. Today we've seen the overnight futures on the Oz two hundred up sixty five points. Um, what are you thinking? What What are your thoughts on that and and the week that was? Yeah, it was a good good finish to the week, wasn't it? It was one. Of, I think we had that discussion yeah. last week around. Um, you know, I think the S and P was nine, eight or nine days. You know, less than twenty point moves. So, um, from my yeah. point of view, it was kind of I wasn't um, putting too much uh, position sizing in. I, I prefer to kind of wait for the volatility to come back, and then you can kind of trade off that. But um, yeah, start mm-hmm. a month always kind of gives you um, a little bit of impetus, and we saw that um, obviously on the UK was a nice move uh, from open. That's fairly, I think, uh, nine out of the last ten. Uh, start of months when that goes in, you know, positive futures wise, um, it, it has a nice rally. So that worked out well. Um, J Power, obviously, in the S&P, although I think we saw in mm-hmm. Europe, Europe and kind of the, the indication of where that night was going to go with that r- rally. Um, and then the Aussie, yeah, mm-hmm. it was um, pretty, again, standard procedure for start of month. Um, bit of a weakness, I think I said, um, you know, keep keep buying until lunchtime. Um, and then we got that, yeah, rally back to kind of, um, yeah, as you said, I think five points higher or whatever it was in the afternoon. Yeah. So, um, yeah, going into the short, short month, obviously December. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. Yeah. No good. And just on that, we're sort of turning, turning the page in the calendar to look at what we have this week. Um, a few quick ones. We'll obviously go day by day into the the macro news that is coming up in more detail but just a quick overview we've got retail sales today at 11 30 daylight savings time we've got the rba making their final interest rate decision for the year next one's going to be february we've got that at 2 30 p.m on tuesday wednesday 2 a.m we've got us job openings and ism numbers wednesday at 11 30 we've got gdp thursday bit of balance and trade and China's balance of trade in in our Australian session that night we've got the euro area GDP and then end of the week we've got uh, initial jobless claims in the US and payrolls as well as China inflation um, so that's sort of the overview of the week it looks like Australia has sort of got a bit of a heavier week in terms of macro news and yeah be interesting to see what comes of it yeah mate the only thing yeah I mean today it's all just driven by that move up over over the overnight futures. I think we're 65 points higher or something. So it's how that kind of plays out generally yep. on a Monday, which is um, which is pretty straightforward. And then, yeah, having a look at, you know, pre-RBA, how, how our market reacts a little bit as well. Then we've got the RBA, obviously, decision tomorrow, which can move markets. Um, and outside of that, the PMI, ISM, and the non-farm payroll. They're the only things that I think, yeah, can move markets um, in isolation. Yep. Yeah, no, great. And just quickly directing our attention to today's session, what what do you think we're we're in for? Are we in for a massive massive move, or are we just going to gap and sit, or where where should I be directing my attention? Um, yeah, as I said, mate, those big moves up on Friday night um, are pretty generally. If you look at the data, pretty straightforward to trade on Monday. Um, I won't give yep. too much away, but um, the the day before yep. RBA. Um, generally, we kind of finish back where we started. So, um, any major moves one way or another, I'd be kind of yeah looking to mean revert. Yeah, great, great. Well, hopefully, it doesn't do what it did last Monday when I was expecting the mean revert and that didn't occur. But listen, I'm not holding on to that. Um, it's fine. But yeah, mate, I think that'll do us for Monday, and we will. You know, I think we're actually recording our second podcast, full-length podcast episode today as well. So that'll be exciting just for us personally. And, yeah, we're sort of getting into December. Everyone's getting a bit of a 
Christmas cheer on, get getting hopefully some buying through the end of the month. It'll be be good. Get your party hat on, mate. Uh, yep, yep, <laughs> too easy. I can do that for you. <laughs> All right, mate. Have a good one. All right, mate. You too. See ya.